Hello, this is Chess Guy, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to do decimal division in the Big Planet 3. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our numerator value, which I have currently at 40%, and we're wanting to divide it by our denominator, which in this case, I have 90%. This should give us a decimal of 0.444 repeating. So the first thing we're go I'm going to do is I'm going to create a counter, and I'm going to wire the input of my counter to my AND gate, and I'm going to copy this 10 times. I'm going to have 10 of these counter AND gate combinations. Now I'm going to have my denominator be wired into the bottom, or the second input of my AND gate. I'm going to use a NOT gate and wire all the second inputs of my AND gates together like this. Now I'm going to copy my group of 5, and now I can get my group of 10. Now I'm going to merge my two NOT gates together, and this is going to connect all of these inputs for me. So now I'm going to Set my counters ranging from values of 1 out of 10 to 10 out of 10. Kind of working backwards here. We've got our 3, our 2, and our 1. Cool. So now I'm going to connect the bottom input. Um, was, this is going to be the signal from my denominator. We're going to turn it red so I remember it's my denominator. And there we go. So what we're doing is we're taking our denominator value 0 0.9 and we're multiplying it by our counter values. So it's going to be 0 0.9 times 0 0.1 or 0 0.9 then 0.9 times 0.2, which is 0.18, and so forth. So I'm getting these kind of like, it's like a step function, but I'm multiplying it by my denominator. And I'm going to compare this to my numerator. So I'm going to copy and paste my comparison logic to my numerator. So after I copy and paste onto, I think about here, yeah, there we go. Fires all my connections for me. This is a really nice shortcut, merging these inputs. I'm going to set this to green. I'm going to merge my my uh, input here. So now we're comparing a numerator to our scale denominator. What we want to do is we're going to say if it's less than or equal to we're going to do it which is basically not greater than. So we're going to copy and paste this um, combination of logic. Now that I got five I can grab all this. But first let's do another um, trick where we wire into the numerator. And I Heads hitting because I realize this is going to be um, a 10% value. I'm going to replace my NOT gate with the battery later. So let's replace the bottom 5, our comparison logic, with our, our little setup here. Now I'm going to change my NOT gate to a battery. And what this will do is it's going to take a, turn each of these into a 10% output. So AND gates will take um, the bottom input by default. That's what we want it on. These AND gates, however, need to be on these scaled, so we're going to multiply these values together. I'm going to re, um, reorganize a little bit. Now we're going to create a 10-way OR gate, and this OR gate is going to add up all of our outputs of our AND gates, just like so. So what this is doing is going to add up how many times our numerator will fit into our scaled denominator, and this is going to be basically our output. This is going to be the digit that the player sees. So for example, if we had 0.3 over 0.8, it would say, well, 3 would go into 8 two times. And that kind of thing. So we're going to export our output. This is going to be the digit that we want to see. And then the second thing is we're going to have to get our remainder. So I'm going to take my denominator Let's first find a directional combiner. I'm going to take the signal from my denominator. I'm going to wire my OR gate to an AND gate. You'll see why in a second. So we, we multiplied the numerator times and many times as it fits into our denominator, we're going to subtract the numerator from our denominator and this is going to give us the remainder. You need to multiply this by 10 so that it can carry over to the next digit. So I'm going to add it to itself 10 times, just like so. And this is going to be our remainder output. Now I can copy and paste this, but first, let's get our outputs ready so we can we can see some values here. I'm going to use a note and change it to 5 decimal points precision. So indeed 4 over 9 is 0.4 and it should be 0.444 repeating. So we got the first digit. To get the next digits we're just going to wire the denominator, not the denominator, 
the second input is our remainder into the input of my next division. And thinking ahead, I'm going to turn this note into a battery because we're going to need this output to be added up later. I'm going to add up all of our digits. Now I'm going to copy and paste this over here and I can copy this. And this wires up all my remainder outputs into my input outputs and simply connect all the denominator outputs just like so. Now make the second AND gate only have two inputs, the third AND gate have three inputs, and the fourth AND gate have four inputs. Make sure that these AND gates are set to multiply, and use a 10% battery, and connect the remaining inputs of our AND gates. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take our first input, and it's just going to be the, the tenth decimal place, and this can be the hundredth, and the thousandth, and the ten thousandth. And then we're going to add up all these outputs, and we should get our percentage. This is going to be the decimal percentage when we divide our two inputs. If you want more precision, you can just continue this, um, this pattern. But four decimal places is pretty accurate, and for what I'm trying to do, which was do a health bar application, it seems to work just fine. So now let's test some different values. So indeed, 2 over 2 is 100%, 1 over 2 is 50%. And as you see, it works. We can change it to some stranger numbers too. Um, let's see. Yeah, there you go. One third, one fourth. These all look correct. And it can even do some weird values. So, for example, we got like point, like eleven. Let's do like point four, nineteen fortieths. And as you see, it calculates the percentage when we say 19 divided by 42. So that's how you do uh, percent decimal division in the Bitcoin 3. If you found this video instructive, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.